Hey, and welcome to Smart Office, weekly tips and tricks to work around Microsoft Office applications. Today, I will show you something that has to do with Microsoft PowerPoint. How to bring an object in front or send it back in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Sometimes in a PowerPoint slide, we add pictures, shapes and graphics, which they can overlap. One picture on top of the other, a shape in front of our text. We can easily change the way objects overlap in Microsoft PowerPoint just by using two features. The center back feature and the bring to front feature. Alternatively, we can always use the selection pane also to rearrange objects and to find hidden ones. Stay tuned to find out how. I have inserted some stickers in, my, in the slide of the PowerPoint presentation. For us to rearrange the way they behave on one with another, if they overlap or not, we must select a certain image, sticker, clipart, text box, graph, what, whatever. Here we can see the handles around the specific sticker that I selected. And once I select a sticker image picture, the graphic formats tab appears. I activate it and from the area arrange of the ribbon, we can bring forward. Bring the selected object forward one level so that it's hidden behind fewer objects. If I select the drop down menu, we can bring it forward and it's right in front. Again, I select it, bring to front. Bring the selected object in front of all other objects. I select it, and now it's in front of all the objects in the slide. We can see that. Send backward. Send the selected, selected object back one level, or send it behind all the other objects. From the drop-down menu, I select the command send backward, Send the selected object back one level so that it's hidden behind more objects. One level, where did it go? It's behind the cat now. And again, send backward, send it back. Send the selected object behind all other objects. So be right at the back. Behind the logo here, behind the cat and behind the cactus. We can also do a right click on the selected image and from the shortcut menu to select again the command bring to front and from the sub menu we have the same commands or send to back and we again see the same command send to back, send backward. Also we can activate the selection pane. See a list of all your objects. This makes it easier to select objects, change their order or change their visibility. The selection pane appears with all the objects inside uh, in the pane that I have in the slide. They appear right here. And can, I can rearrange the order, the way they look, the way they behave from just dragging and dropping inside the selection pane. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, head down to the comment section and let me know.